Hello and welcome everyone. Today I have come up with a topic which gives you some glimpse on the major advantage of migration to ISO 2022. Right. So the greater advantage of migrating into ISO 2022 is nothing but the greater interoperability. What it means is the integration between the domestic and the international payment can be made simplified and easier compared to the ones who are using different format of communication across the world. For an instance, if USA was using a proprietary format and if they want to integrate with other domestic payment system of other country or they want to integrate it with some of the entity which provides a medium to communicate with other banks across the world, then it becomes little tedious task. And whereas if they use the common language like ISO 2022, it becomes easier for them to integrate as well, not only in terms of the message communication, but also in terms of the way they integrate there are infrastructure aspect as well that needs to be taken in consideration. So that can be made simplified as the way they integrate or the way the technical aspect works remains the same. Only the little bit of development which is required needs to be done. And maybe the cost, perhaps I would, I'm, I'm pretty much sure the cost and time and the effort for integration across the board would definitely be way lesser than what it used to be earlier. So this is one example I had taken. Just imagine if a customer in USA, let's say LTD corporate customer wants to make a transfer to X Alliance, that is PLC company in Canada, right? So what it does is it can use any of the system and then it can transfer and ask the bank CTOs to make a transfer. Instead of using the SWIFT connectivity, right, uh, it, it passes through the local payment system that is the high value payment system of the USA. And imagine USA and Canada has a deal or agreement wherein they can make this real time payment or high value payment. And they are interconnected via some entity or via the central banks itself, just like in, you know, uh, for example, in, in SEPA target one, you know, where they act as a uh, central system where they can make a transfer in a single single currency. But here it can have this that option of uh, single currency as well as multi-currency as well. So a lot of possibilities is there now, you know, and, and once it is integrated then simplified, you know, one message can be sent out or received from central bank or the RTJ system or federal system of USA to the link system of the Canada. And indeed it will you know, settle the fund to the beneficiary bank and beneficiary bank will then indeed transfer the fund to the PLC customer who is a beneficiary customer. So this is one example which I have taken, which can come across like, for instance, India, and India Sri Lanka and Russia are in a talk right now where they are discussing about making rupee as a, uh, you know, a mode of uh, transaction, you know, instead of using US uh, currency, they can, they are uh, thinking of making rupee as a transaction uh, currency within the countries. So a lot of possibilities is coming up, especially after this uh, Ukraine war, right? And uh, I'm, I'm pretty much sure that a lot of central banks across the world are thinking on the possibility and uh, maybe the allies or the uh, neighboring countries or, or within the Asia, a lot of central banks come together to form a system. Just like in the uh, uh, Gulf system, they have made a lot of allies with the Gulf GCC countries or Islamic countries. So a lot of possibilities is there and, and in coming future, I see a lot of payment system being integrated with a lot of central banks, their local payment system with high value payment system. And 
and then that that makes easier when they are especially migrated into ISO 2022 compared to what they had earlier. So this is one of the biggest advantage of migrating into ISO 2022. This is one thing. And uh, there are a lot more advantages of ISO 2022 migration, which we can discuss in our sessions if you want to attend. So we have a uh, separate classes that goes on in our weekend batches. If you want to enroll for it, you can definitely enroll for it. I'll just give you some summary about the courses. So uh, we have placed, we have you know, helped our many students who has been part with us in terms of training. And after going through the training, they had definitely cracked many of the interviews. And what we have updated right now is 100 plus students have been already uh, got placed in one of one of the big, biggest uh, uh, organizations across the country. So to utilize this, this is the opportunity where the entire world or the central banks or the payment systems or the banks is migrating into ISO 2022. And they are needing, they are in need of skillful resources. So if you have a payment domain knowledge along with the ISO 2022, then you definitely can crack some of the interviews as well. So we have uh, videos format courses wherein you know the courses is designed in the videos and it is readily available where you can get it. So we have two courses to offer that is a payment course and ISO 2022 courses. Right, so the Swift payment course offline is international rupees five thousand. You would get almost twenty hours of videos. You would get some important reference documents, some of the conversion tool, and very important fifty expected interview questions. Along with that, you'll also get one hour weekly, uh, limited to four hours for a candidate, where you can speak to me and ask all of your questions on the payment. We have ISO 2022 offline program where in the course cost is international rupees 10,000. Similar to that, you'll get some advanced MT2 MX converter tool. You have four hours of interaction with me if you have any questions. If you take both the courses that we are giving you a discount that is 5,000 of discount and both the courses you can get it in this international request 10,000. For that, just email us at swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com. Similarly, we have a uh, live classes paths where you can just enroll and uh, in coming in every month, we have one batches going on. So you just drop an email to us and we'll enroll you for the coming month, coming batches. And these are the weekend batches right now going on every Saturday and Sunday timings would be shared to you as well. And the course cost is international rupees 20,000, almost one and a half month uh, classes would be there, uh, two to two and a half hours Saturday and as well as Sunday, six to seven weekends, the duration it would be. So for, the, for that, just email us at swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com to enroll. And for the more information would be given via email itself. And uh, yeah, that's all. Just do utilize this golden opportunity in the payment industry. Across the world, transformation is happening. Migration is happening. So a lot of opportunities is there. All right, then I'll see you next time. Bye. Take care.